Welcome to Cruise Man's Reviews. Today I'm going to be installing and reviewing this Cardo audio set, which is basically a set of upgraded speakers for your Cardo Bluetooth headset. Now I'm using the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. Let's do a quick unboxing. I'll show you what comes in the kit. First, there's a small instruction manual that comes with this uh, kit, as you can see here. It also has a barcode that you'll be scanning later as we install this. The kit also comes with some Velcro pads for installing inside your helmet. However, I already have Velcro on my helmet, so I won't need these. There's a couple of extra speaker covers in case yours get damaged that go around the little headset speakers. And then there's two of these Velcro risers, I call them, that make the speakers closer to your ears. And then, of course, you have two 45mm JBL speakers that have the 3.5mm plug on the end for the Cardo headset. Even though it's a little out of frame here, the first step of the instructions is to install the latest firmware in your Cardo headset. So we're going to go to the Cardo website and see if we can't get the latest version of the uh, firmware for this Cardo Pack Talk Bold. Once you've logged into the Cardo website, uh, you can then connect your uh, Pack Talk, in this case Pack Talk Bold, so that it can locate your unit and it will then tell you what version you have. I have the latest version, so we're good to go. The next step is to download the Cardo Connect app. I'm using an Android phone, so I'm downloading the Android uh, version. And then when you open the Cardo Connect app, uh, it'll take you through a series of screens to either allow or deny access. I went ahead for now and told it to allow everything because I wasn't sure what it required. One thing that's a little unintuitive is if you have a hard time getting this app to connect to your headset, you have to first go into the Bluetooth setup of your phone and make sure your phone is paired to the Cardo Pack Talk unit. Otherwise, this will not be able to connect. You can see here, it did not connect. So before trying to get the Cardo app to connect to the headset, go ahead and go into the Bluetooth setup on your phone and with the Cardo unit turned on, it should be able to find that device. And then you can click on it, and it should be able to pair and then connect. And then you can go back to the Cardo app and uh, go into settings, which is a little confusing because it doesn't really tell you what to do. Now, I went into audio profiles, and then you have to scan that little barcode that comes on the instruction sheet. And this somehow registers your uh, speakers and also sets up the profiles for your headset to work with these JBL speakers. Now, once this code has been validated, everything should be set up so that these JBL speakers, these 45 millimeters, will work with your Pack Talk setup. I'm just going in and checking some other settings, but I didn't even change anything. Most of the other things here are things you can do through the Cardo website once you've connected to your Bluetooth headset. So the next step is really to just install the speakers. Now I'm removing the cheek pads from my IS Max 2 helmet, and I'm going to remove the OEM speakers, the ones that came with the Pack Talk Bold. I also have to unsnap my headliner because I have the wire kind of tucked behind there. And then I'll remove the other cheek pad. And once I do that, I can disconnect the speakers from the Cardo cradle and then remove the speakers. Now here's that 3.5 millimeter plug uh, that connects the speakers to the Cardo cradle which ultimately connects to the headset itself. So now it's just a matter of popping the speakers out. They're just held in place with Velcro inside the helmet. With the speakers removed, you can see the little carved out space that uh, HJC has provided for helmet speakers. Now, it's not quite large enough for these 45 millimeter JBLs. 
And my original concern was that these are going to stick out and hit my ears when I put my helmet on. Uh, they do give you this little Velcro pad that kind of raises that speaker up a little bit to kind of clear that carved out foam. So I tried that first. Uh, I decided to go ahead and uh, install this little pad so that the speakers would at least uh, sit properly inside the helmet. Uh, I ended up going back and reworking this, which I'll talk about later. But basically, you just install the new speakers uh, on these pads. And depending on your helmet, this may work fine for you. Now, the only thing left to do is just to tuck the wire out of place. I, I kind of store most of mine uh, kind of behind the headliner, as you can see here, and then I'll snap it back down into place. And then I'll connect the 3.5 millimeter plugs so it's plugged into the cradle. And then after that, we'll basically just uh, put in the cheek pads and we'll go for a ride and give it a test. This is my first ride with the new JBL speakers that I uh, used with my Cardo Pack Talk Bold. I replaced my uh, stock speakers with these new JBLs. And I wanted to give you a quick update on what my thoughts are. First of all, I've noticed a huge decrease in the amount of volume that I need to use through the audio system to get the same amount of volume through the headset, which is one of the things I was hoping for. I can now comfortably hear the audio on AM or FM at about 14 on the uh, volume level, where before it was about 19 or 20. So these speakers appear to be more efficient. And uh, I, the audio quality is noticeably better than the stock speakers or the factory OEM speakers. So. Now, these are 45 millimeter speakers. The ones that come with the Cardo Pack Talk Bold are 40 millimeter. And when I first installed these, uh, they don't quite fit in the little carved out place on the inside of the helmet. They kind of stuck out a little bit and they, was real, they were really hurting my ears. Uh, they were putting a lot of pressure on my ears and it just made the helmet really uncomfortable. And I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I was afraid I might have to go back to the OEM speakers, the 40 millimeter. But what I did is I got a Dremel tool and I was able to carve out some of the foam from the inside of the helmet to kind of increase the diameter of that little recess for the speaker. And now these things fit perfectly. I love it. I'm telling you, it really made it much more comfortable on these on the HJC IS Max 2. The IS Max 2 just does not have a large enough recess for these speakers. So the helmet is now much more comfortable. The sound quality is infinitely better than what I had before. These speakers are $89. Um, I think they're worth it. I really think it's something you should consider if you're into higher quality audio, if you like uh, high fidelity uh, and you listen through the headset. I really think that these uh, JBL speakers are pretty cool. So if you like this video, please take a second to give me a thumbs up, click the subscribe button down below, and if you click on the bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new review videos. Thanks again for joining us today on Cruise Man's Reviews.